of whole vacation. We came in yesterday and we did some stuff. I didn't show you guys that because like it was like hit. Like we had to get here for our reservation and get to the other place for our reservation. So it was like bam, 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 bam. We went to Dolly Parton Stampede and I couldn't have filmed there much anyway because like you can film until the show starts and then like you can't, it said they tell you you can't film or anything like that. So if you don't know where Dolly Parton Stampede is, we are literally staying just minutes from our house it's a staycation we have a bigger trip planned that we're working on for later on in the year because you guys know like we're trying to live a more minimal lifestyle we've decluttered a lot out of our house and stuff so you guys gave me the great idea that for birthdays and christmas and stuff that we could do trips and gift cards and to like fun places and stuff like that so i'm taking you guys up on that that was a smart idea we're about to go down to get the buffet <laughs> we're about to go down and get the breakfast buffet see what all they got because we are starving had shane go all over this place last night looking for a vending machine and we couldn't find not one vending machine i was like this place ain't, ain't made for thick people no, no way <laughs> i'm I, I, I needed my second dinner right, so let's go see what they got at the breakfast buffet This elevator it makes me hard. feel like it's going to get stuck with me in it because the door won't hardly shut. All right, let's get to the floor. Let's get to the floor. Let's get gravity. It's going to take me down either way. You better take me down slowly. We just ate at the resort and let me just say I would rather be poor staying at a campground in an old raggedy tent and be my happy self than to be rich and chilling at this resort and be miserable. The attitudes I have encountered <laughs> in my three hours of being awake is just absolutely astonishing. You're having a beautiful time with your absolutely gorgeous family. What's the problem? <laughs> I get that, you know, more is going on behind the scenes and, and people can have unseen reasons for being so sad and unhappy, but you don't go making someone else sad and unhappy just because you are sad and unhappy. The fact that you feel that way coming from someone who has been sad and unhappy before should make you want to make someone else the complete opposite. And I will say this, I will say this, my waitress can eat a fart. <laughs> I've had the last eye roll I can take for today and I have the patience of a saint. I mean, <laughs> not i told shane i said next year we are staying in an old tent i don't care if we like go in nanny's backyard we are going there i'm not made for this i'm going to make the best out of this for my family we're going to have a blast we're going to ignore the eye rolls i'm telling y'all though if i even see one out the corner of my eye then my head's going to be like, what are you doing oh then i'll right back this way i'm gonna lose it i'm gonna make it a fun time for my family because my kids don't understand cammy don't understand that's where you get me, right there. <laughs> we've, we've done had a countless amount of eye rolls. We, one of us scared <laughs> somebody. One of us scared somebody and the fear of God was like on their face. <laughs> I was like, what else? I'm not gonna ask that. Why did I just ask that? I'm gonna stop complaining on here right now because regardless of eye roll, regardless of <laughs> the attitudes, we are blessed to be here. Regardless of it all, we're blessed to be here. So we are actually headed to Dollywood. A funnel cake will get this off my mind. Once I'm knee deep in funnel cakes, I ain't gonna be worried about nothing that happened this morning. Even the fear of God that one of us put on somebody's face. They were just relaxing in that relaxing chair on the fake grass lawn. And then they went. <laughs> Look, do what they did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. 
How are you? Are you having what fun? Next vacation, um, we come back here. No. <laughs> what about if we just go camping in there no. in the backyard? I don't want to be bit by bugs. We're right here. We're being bit by the ugly bug. Everybody's being ugly to each other. You don't want to be bit by that bug. I'd rather have First 20 off, mosquitoes eating me. Off, up. You have to love them. Oh yeah, we love them. Just deal with it. <laughs> Advice from Colton. First off, you have to love them. <laughs> Literally, you uh, just ignore them like shrimp. Literally, and no one ever pays attention to shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever pays what attention to shrimp. Just say heads, heads. <laughs> <laughs> Go in. I thought we were supposed to be nice and not care and love them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody stepped on my phone and watch it. <laughs> I, I cannot. <laughs> they stepped on Colton's foot and told him to watch it and move. <laughs> what did you say, Colt? Because they're what? They're just a, a shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, this vacation is already mirroring the Beverly Hillbillies. I just realized... I painted our porch in these crocs. It looks like a Septon Dookie. <laughs> oh, we stick out like a sore thumb. Like a sore thumb. It throat. looks like I stepped in Dookie. How are we sticking out like a sore thumb in our own territory though? Like we live here. Everybody I, else is tourists. We live here. I think we look, we look the part. Uh, don't mind us, everybody. We're just singing the Jurassic Park theme song. Stick out like a sore thumb. First stop on the agenda is Dollywood. We It's been a hot minute since we've been here. The girls can't even really remember the last time that they were here. So we wanted to go here first. More excitedly, this is Cammy's first time ever at an amusement park or anything like that. And he had a blast. I was blown away at Cammy and how he reacted to everything. We came at the summer festival. So there was fireworks, kites, beautiful colors everywhere. But Cammy is actually a roller coaster fanatic. And we just found this out, this trip. He loves roller coasters. So, Sorry, I'm really Rena sat in some dirt. <laughs> I got a dirty butt. I didn't just want to throw everybody onto roller coasters and be like, woohoo! So we started with something simple. We started with the River Rampage and we worked our way up from there. Also, the River Rampage is by far my most favorite ride. <laughs> rides we went into the shops and looked around the prices were outrageous but they had some really cool things to look at like the little accordions and they all look like old school toys a lot of their toys are like old school toys it was so cool what's wrong jane out of all the places we went to on vacation, Dollywood was the most accommodating when it came to ASD. Also with plus sizes, the River Rampage and this ride, which is Daredevil Falls, neither one of those had weight restrictions or anything, so I was able to enjoy the rides with my family. I got the Hey! 
Cammy. I'm in a bad or sad mood. I'm gonna look at this picture. <laughs> Cammy. Uh, Cammy. Oh my what god. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> There were some duds in our vacation, and I'll be sure to show y'all later in the video. You guys will know how I feel about those places, but Dollywood wasn't one of those. It was actually the best place we could have ever taken Cammy for vacation. Their employees were awesome. They were so helpful, so kind, so accommodating, and I really appreciate that. Dollywood's a win for me, and we will be coming back. We are absolutely exhausted. We just got in from Dollywood. We are absolutely exhausted, but the kiddos are wanting to go either to the pool or the arcade and i don't feel like going to the pool this evening i've got blisters on my blisters on my feet so we're gonna do arcade you want to do my fit fit check you need to point down i'm only getting half my head this no tilt it Turn your tilt it up <laughs> all right this is arcade fit another little baby doll tea i found you gonna be able to dance head. dance revolution in that no. Come on, baby. At Kato, though. Hey, Kiwi. Who's <laughs> it? Oh, look. Okay. Go down. Show him. Show him. Okay. You do a fashion show. I'm getting out of your way. You do a fashion um, show. Um, here's the question. This I got at Kato when I went in to get a swimsuit cover because that's one thing I forgot when I got all my stuff together is I didn't get a swimsuit cover. Kato's um, has. Here's the question. <laughs> Kato had a swimsuit cover, but I also got some kimonos because they said I could use it for that. But this is what this looks like. This is a size 22. Okay. Finish it. This is the kimono that I found while on vacation. I used it as a swimsuit cover, and you can't even tell it's not a swimsuit cover. I got so many compliments on that thing. I love it. What's your story? What's your sign? You look pretty. You look pretty. Life, deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. arcade Shane has been talking about bringing the kids to for forever he actually came to this arcade when he and his family would come to Pigeon Forge for like vacation to visit and stuff like that so it had sentimental value to it and he has been wanting for the longest time to bring the kiddos here they had fun but I had more fun <laughs> I got on the Guitar Hero. They had, y'all remember when Guitar Hero was so big in like 2007, 2008? I was a master guitarist on Guitar Hero. <laughs> so I got on Guitar Hero and even the employees were walking by and saying, rock out, mama. <laughs> it was so fun. But the kiddos had a blast here. They they went off these card things. So like you don't get tickets like you used to when I was a kid. They would hand you out tickets. The tickets get loaded onto the same card that you just swap across the the thing down there to start the game on and you like they load money on to this card and then whenever you get win a game however many tickets you should be able to get that would come out it'll just get loaded onto that card if that makes sense so there's no like actual tickets anymore that kind of sucks because tickets are exciting you know but it was it was fun regardless Chain three, four, four, four. yeah, four. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, I just literally sneezed a stitch out of my dress mirror bag. <laughs> Did you hear that? It was out of my biker shorts. <laughs> I sneezed and I heard. <laughs>
So it's day four. It's actually day three, full day three. And, but it's four days since we came. The, this is the fourth night. Yesterday, I didn't vlog a whole lot. I did take you guys along with me and like show you stuff. I didn't get on here and talk a lot. Today, we're just getting into random stuff. So I, me and Shane got up this morning and we're looking on the internet for things around us. We live here, so like we know what's around us, but there's a lot of things we haven't done just because it's a very touristy, vacation-y area and it's always packed. Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg is always packed. That's why I go above and beyond to get out of here to go get groceries. I don't ever get groceries here in Pigeon Forge or Sevierville either. I always go in the opposite direction. So we had an idea of what we were gonna do today. We're gonna surprise the kiddos with what we're gonna do though. Yesterday we went Went to an arcade and it was an arcade that Shane went to whenever he was a kid and the kids are in their little area back there uh watching tv so you can probably hear them I want to do a tour before it's, this is over with I just got to get tidied up in here because it is a it's a mess like we've got stuff everywhere there's no structure at all we've even lost outfits I packed five outfits and right now as of current we can only find three outfits so I don't know where the other ones have went but yesterday we went to the arcade and then where else did we go Shane we went to the Disney store. We ate at Pizza Hut last night, but we did something else. Well, we got to see the fireworks, the Dollywood fireworks. We got to see those from the Pizza Hut parking lot. Oh, and then we went to the pool yesterday. We spent time around the pool yesterday. I'm taking all the decor and spo from this place. I think I made, I made a mental note to tell you, Shane, that I want to make our landscaping a Margaritaville inspired landscaping because oh it feels like a vacation. <laughs> You forgot the go-kart place. Oh, 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 we went to the uh, NASCAR Speed Park, Shane. Oh, Yesterday, right. we went to NASCAR yeah. Speed Park. So they got to ride go-karts and little rides and everything like that. That's cool. I th Listen, they have some of the stuff that they had 20 years ago when I was 10 and, I, and Nanny took me there. I couldn't believe how similar it looked. <laughs> you can tell by the rides, though. Some of them, I was like, man, they're going to just keep spinning until they're just spinning off because it was creaking and stuff. But they had fun. Almost kicked out of that place because I kept <laughs> hitting JC on the go kart. Totally kept bumping into people. You're not supposed to <laughs> bump into people. It was only your sister. So today we're gonna take the kiddos and surprise them at places, and I don't even know what all we're gonna get into, but we're gonna have fun. You ready? Oh yeah! Whoa. Outfit check. Guess where this is from? Dollar General. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I've had this for like four years, and it's from Dollar General. <laughs> We got off on the wrong floor. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. While I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a tour of this area, but I'm gonna have to do it as a voiceover because it's so loud in here. Below the lobby of the Margaritaville, it's the Camp Margaritaville RV Lodge and Resort is what it's called. Underneath it, you take some stairs and you get to this area down here. It's an arcade and then to the side, they have like a little, like it's a bar area, like grill area or something like that. And then they have a family room and um, places like several TVs and booths and so many cool things. They're actually building a lazy river right now. It's in the works. So like when you leave the the arcade to the right you would eventually go out a door and there would be a lazy river there they're also adding a ton of things apparently this is just a, they're doing it as they go and it's up and coming so this is the area where you would get food down here it's pretty busy in the evening and at night they've got like the foosball tables and all kinds of stuff like that it's a really nice lounge area and then those sets of stairs you see up there going up there go into the main lobby and in the main lobby it's the main lobby and then there's a place to sit down and eat and then there's a bar and a gift shop and then that leads out into the pool it is a huge resort but it is so nice and over on instagram everybody's like shane hashtag tear nation sunscreen don't 
don't forget your sunscreen. We get it. <laughs> remember last year? We get year? it. <laughs> That's how you know you're a long-time friend when you remember what happened last not year. You're not going to let me live it down, are you? He was blistered from head to toe last year. I mean, he said, he said Indians don't burn. <laughs> they do. <laughs> if you're over on Instagram, then you saw that this was the dud. This is Pigeon Forge snow, and it, we did not have a good time here at all. It is not ASD accessible at all. The employees were too busy looking on their phone. I've actually been in contact with marketing and was told I would be receiving a refund and have not yet received it. I got back with them today as of editing this video, and they still say that they are going over the footage, and I haven't received a refund yet. But I would not recommend going here. If you want to go enjoy a snow park, there's like Rowdy snow park and stuff like that there's several other snow parks in pigeon forge that i would go to before i ever came back here because i was vlogging though i do have footage of my own that i've been going over so we shall see it's to be determined on this one i think the worst part about this is i didn't even request a refund i was just told a refund would be given to me i was just voicing my openness opinion on them not being a good place to take children with asd or anything like that uh and then the neglect on the part of their employees but then i was told i would receive a refund and now we're going back and forth so i will let you guys know how it pans out i don't have high hopes so Shane and the kiddos are at the pool right now. They wanted to go down there before it rains because the forecast says it's going to rain. It doesn't look like it's going to outside, but the forecast says it's going to rain. So Cammy and I are in here because we were both exhausted and Cammy just wanted to chill. We're chilling in here. I'm actually about to clean up this mess because it's, it is so bad. So <laughs> impromptu, is that the right word? Impromptu uh, condo clean with me. Let me show you the tennis court outside though like like i said it doesn't look like it's going to rain but it's all in the forecast for the rest of this week which yesterday i said it was going to rain too but it didn't there's a giant water tower i don't know i don't know why it's there but it's a giant water tower and then down there's the tennis court it's a really nice place and I didn't know it was pet friendly till we got here. So next time, Banks of Tater is coming with us. All right, let's get this place cleaned up because we check out tomorrow. And I don't want to have to wake up at like 8 in the morning and tidy this place up. So we're going to go ahead and tidy this up. And then we'll have Shane take a load down to the car. That way, we'll be ready to go in the morning. I'm so excited to get back to Binks and Tater. I have missed them so bad. No one else can see her. Live your life within the moment. A drive through Wares Valley should be on every to-do list. When you come up here to Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, try your best to go through Wares Valley. The scenery is absolutely beautiful. Every person who lives in this vicinity is so blessed. Like, it is gorgeous. We went through, we didn't go exactly to Cades Cove. We just went to the entrance. It was still so pretty. There were people who were taking their lawn chairs and their swimming suits and their picnic stuff and actually sitting their lawn chairs in the, the river or the creek itself. 
<laughs> that's a river. That's not a creek, right? That's too big to be a creek. There's places, if you don't want to go through the tube in places or anything like that, there's places on the side of the road that give you a place to kind of lean off the side of the road and park there on the side without being in the way of traffic or anything because there's a lot of traffic that comes up and down this road into Cades Cove in general. You know, if you're going to Cades Cove, there's going to be some traffic. So we pulled off to the side here and found this little spot that wasn't very crowded and the kiddos got to go down there and play in the creek and stuff like that. You'll see in a minute, Shane looks up at me in alarm and that's because he spotted a bear and he was trying to tell me because I was like wave guys wave and he was like no don't 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 yell right now there's a bear over there we're used to seeing bears up here so it's not like a scared shock factor but it was the fact that they were stuck in the middle right here <laughs> he's like no well, they were stuck in the middle of that and they wanted to get out before the bear like came and was intrigued by their existence <laughs> We're safe and in the car. We, Shane's like, oh, there's a bear over there. You guys gotta remember, we live in East Tennessee, so we see bears, like, not a lot, but, like, we literally were going down the interstate the other day, or was it, it was, it was a highway, and then a, a bear just runs out across the whole four-lane highway, didn't it? Yep. And it was, like, nothing. I reckon we're headed back to the hotel, are we? Headed back to the hotel, and then we'll probably stay there until... Bye, baby. And we'll probably stay there until dinner time, go get dinner, and then come back in and chill. Tonight's our last night at the condo. It's Hotel Motel Condo Inn. I don't know what it is. It's the Hotel <laughs> Motel, Motel Holiday Inn. We at the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. We're probably just gonna hang out there tonight's our last night so i did get it tidied up i only showed you guys half of that because by the time i got halfway done everybody came back in from the pool i only showed you you guys me getting it tidied up like halfway but i got it completely tidied up i do need to tidy up the bathroom a little bit and stuff but i'm gonna do an overview of the hotel motel holiday inn <laughs> i'm gonna do an overview of it but it's not gonna be like a clean tour just know that it's gonna be a very lived in tour because we've been there for five days at this point right yeah We've been there for five days. We were supposed to leave last night, but we extended it one more day. We were supposed to leave this morning, but we extended it one more day. So tomorrow we have to check out. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour, but it's gonna be like a very lived in tour. <laughs> Bellboy. So I did a tour like thing over on Instagram when we first got here. I really did day to day vlogging over there and put it on reels and then photos and then stories over there on Instagram. But I really wanted to show you guys this. I just didn't have time until we were leaving. So this is the big bathroom, by the way. I want one of those mirrors. The shower is glass. This is a closet that had an ironing board in it that one of our kiddos thought was a surfboard. A surfboard. That's how much I iron <laughs> or iron, as y'all say. This was the entrance into the kids' bedroom. It was supposed to look like a I guess a tent kind of flap kind of thing and it had inside it had two twin beds we had a little coffee bar area with a microwave and a fridge in here they had their lamp they had their light fixture and then up above they had a tv that they watched before they went to bed every night right there's the coffee bar area the ironing board closet to the left and then it opened up here into the two bedrooms or the two beds the bathroom and then the shower room the toilet was in there with the shower and the window or the mirror there was just out and about but it had like a little area for you to sit at and eat at and a tv and a dresser it was a really neat experience it had a beautiful view and the employees were for the most part except for the breakfast area <laughs> they were really really good we had a blast though thank you guys for being a part of this you guys played such a big part in this and i am so grateful and so appreciative for the time that you gave me with my family because i couldn't have done this without you guys so i wanted to say that i don't ever want to show you these videos and you think oh marina has it all marina had this experience because god used you guys to give it to me and i am forever grateful for that forever grateful you guys are a tremendous blessing to me and my family and I don't think you even realize it you guys think that I'm something but I, I think it's y'all <laughs> like y'all are the superstars and I appreciate it so much I hope you guys have a blessed morning even night 
whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you. But Jesus, hey, (laughs) he loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.